Okay, my friends, our next topic is creating and interpreting graphs. It seems like more and more of the information we need to get these days comes from graphs, which is totally fine. And one of the things you have to learn how to do is to go back and forth between uh, raw data itself uh, and graphs. So this is the Deschutes County's uh, COVID dashboard website. It takes a little bit to load, but in it, you see a plethora, a plethora of information. Sometimes it's just raw data, like up here. And other times, uh, it's based in graphs, maps, combinations of all, like up here in the uh, in the top right, where you've got cases by zip code, which is actually a really interesting way of looking at where hotspots kind of uh, kind of break out. Down here, you see these things called donut charts. We'll talk about them briefly. They're just basically a really stylized uh, pie chart, which we'll also talk about. And then down here on the left side, you have things called bar graphs or histograms. And on the right side, you've got another type of bar graph, but this one is called a time series graph and you've got some different ways of looking at each of these things. Now I don't want to talk just about COVID, that's not what all graphs are about. Over here we've got some more bar graphs, uh, also time series as you can see they go from 2016-2017 to current 2021 or most recent academic year, looking at enrollment and as you can see it's falling and it has been for some years which is you know this is a this is good information to know. Why is it falling? Is there something we can do uh, about it? And as you begin scrolling through this website and seeing uh, what it's showing you, there's definitely some trends. Enrollment is falling, uh, but it's falling across different categories. And down here, which is really kind of cool, you can see enrollments by city uh, and then by location within counties. A plethora of information, both raw data and, uh, and graphical. It can sometimes get overwhelming. And if you've ever seen Dead Poet Society, the late great Robert Williams showed us that a graph isn't always the best way to look at information. Excrement. Don't worry, Captain. We'll do our best to make you proud. Let's dive in.